वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड चंकस पी ओ वी माई डे ड्रीम वॉज इंटरप्टेड वंस आई फेल टू हैंड सुख माई सोल चंक आई जम्प इम सरप्राइज एंड ऑलमोस्ट लेट आउट अ कस अ कस बट थैंक्स गॉड दैट द कस वॉज वर्ड नॉट कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम माई माउथ और एल्स आई वुड बी थ्रॉन इन हेक वंस आई डाई बिकॉज had been crushing at my mom yeah it's my mom my mom mom i hugged her immediately after my senses came back i miss you she turned the hug i miss you too jungkook why you never came visit us anymore she look at me with a sad once we since she was right since i got into accident months ago i never visit her and dad in a more i bet my mom is still does not know about me got into an accident because if she does she probably already dragged me to the mansion back then and is called dad for being the reason of me left the mansion for some stupid reason but right now i really feel thankful to my dad or kicking me out or should i be thankful to the robber who tried to rob mr kim back then no this sounds so wrong anyways i think it's faith to me thank you was really my faith i am sorry mom i will can visit you and dad more often promise he saw me her pinky finger promise pinky promise i said and interrupted our pinky fingers together what are you doing here i am waiting for thangi i said pointing at the building of the library thangi is that your girlfriend her face light up mom thangi is a man oh really i thought thangi is a girl so about the deal how is the process have you find your soon to be wife already she asked and we were sat on the at the bench i just heard hope that thangi will still busy with his books inside the library instead of finding me sat here and talking with wife of jian that's so impossible mom i can't neglect my work even though i am just a driver it's not like i can use the car and drive to anywhere whenever i want to go to find a girl and beside i live at my boss house um, then what are you planning to do you don't want to be a driver for your whole life I don't know mom but what if I was hesitating should I say this What if I ruin everything what if what the jungkook um what if I never want to find a wife but uh, um but um you know I can't find my exact words it's like it was difficult to say that what she was still waiting for my next words meanwhile i was avoiding her gaze and looking at my surroundings the design of the building the sky the cars pass by the trees and the dog who peed under the tree it's not a vibe but uh, that dog is still with its business being peed while looking at me but uh, A what, Jungkook? A dog? What? Do you really want to marry a dog? She looked at me, terrified as why dog suddenly came out, came up to my mind. No, Mom. I mean, not a wife, but a husband. What? She once again looked at me, terrified. You are already handsome, Jungkook. I don't want you to be a girl just to find a hand. husband she slapped my shoulder mom that's not what i mean i winded because this was so complicated than i expected then what can you be more specific more specific she glared at me 
But if this son of yours is gay, I manage to say the boss without stuttering. She looked at me, unbelieving. She was not angry, not surprised too. Then, but was she thinking I was so anxious when she didn't say anything? Mom, I held her hand. I might be disappointed her so much until she becomes so speechless like this. Jungkook. She gripped my hand. Then she smiled, made me relieved to see her beautiful smile. I just want my son to be happy. If that's your choice, I can't do anything, but will support you. It's your life, Jungkook. You can choose with whoever you want to spend your life. As long as you are happy and with your choice, then we will be happy. For you too, I believe your dad also wants you to be happy no matter what your choice is. She pulled me into a hug. Now it was my turn to be speechless. Mom loves you, Jungkook. She said I tightened the hug. Jungkook loves mom too. Thanks mom for understanding me. It's not that difficult to understand my son's happiness, she said. After broken the hug and crashed my cheeks, so you found him already, she asked and I sadly nodded who I would be expecting a handsome son-in-law. She giggled, he is a grandson of my boss, oh, so he must be the reason why you still want to be a driver, right? She asked, teasing and made me embarrassed. He and his family have changed me to a completely different person. I know you will not believe me, but I can cook, cook now, even though it's just a simple dinner. I can do chores. Chores I woke up early and most of my free times I use for gardening with his grandpa baking cookies with him, washing the dishes with him, cleaning the house with him and everything you never see me to do before at the mansion. They made me become good human. I can feel your happiness by the way you are talking and I'm so glad to hear this and I can't wait to meet him. She said, actually he is here, Tiangi, don't look at your back now because he is walking towards us mom can you help me he can't know what you are that you are my mom because i haven't told him anything about my true identity she only winked at me as an answer thank you how you done i asked once he stood near us he only looked, gave a nod as an answer before he looked at my mom both me and my mom stood up from the bench and my mom turned around to face the i heard the sis cap socking shocked are you thangi thang nodded awkwardly before he looked at me i just smiled at him oh omg my mom said amazed like the typical korean people will well she looked at thang up and down you are so handsome and cute and pretty wait you got us got something on your nose she tried to touch his nose only to find out it says it was his small mg it's a mole i'm sorry i have a very bad eyesight she applies and they hung his smile awkwardly yeah i got my clumsiness from my mom i guess what a perfect spot, she said, examined Thayang's face and I found I should have pulled her away from him before Thayang became more uncomfortable. I held my mom's arm to stop her before she could curb Thayang's face. Then I pulled her to stand beside me. Thayang Githi says, I look at my mom expecting her to introduce herself. I am Mrs. Jian, she says, she Ask for a handshake after introducing herself. I forget to tell my mom about Thangs and his muteness. I don't want to make the uncomfortable, but before I could help Thang to introduce his name, he reached for her hand. My name is Kim Thang, even though he said her, but right now I just want to hug Thang because I'm so proud of him. Jungkook did 
work for my family before he is like our own son she said and rub my back i only smile nervously and hope the hungry would believe the lie how many lies more you have to say john jungle but how can you just live like that you have been working so hard but you don't want to take the money i know my son didn't like your work for us but you shouldn't have live without a word my mom continue her lie i laughed nervously i'm sorry i just left no choice your mother Last was enough for me. I don't need anything else. I said and considered embarrassed. Embarrassed. I look at him and I couldn't read his expression. He looked so blank with his expression. I have to go now. Oh, and here Jungkook she gave me money and I am being Jungkook who loves money so much. Never wanted to repose the money, so I take it without questions. It's lunch time. Go bring the ham to eat lunch. I wish I can eat with both of you, but I have important work to do. I'm going now. She bid her goodbye and thangi and I bow at her and watching her until her disappear from our side. Then I turn to look at the ham and the money in his hand. Where do you want to eat? As usual place. I nodded. it before ruffling his hair i'm so proud of you thank you i said and sad he cheeks reddened red like a tomato before he gave me his shy smile time is key for us to be thank you had been staring blankly at the ceiling before he finally decided to take a shower he went to the dining room and found it the handsome driver was having his breakfast cup of coffee in his left hand while a sandwich in his right hand good morning thank you jungle gripped happily sit here he said and gesture thank to sit at the chair beside him the moment he sat on the chair jungle served him with an in in normal plate of food x white omelette sandwich and a cup of coffee and fruit like bananas and apples do you want me to cook for you what do you want what do you want jungkook asked and made him become dumbfounded he looked at up at jungkook and had a thought is he work here as a chef in this house or as a driver Thang shook his head before shoved the coffee away. No coffee? Ah, right. Sorry, I forget. You don't drink coffee in the morning. Wait a minute. Jungkook went to the refrigerator. He was scanning the things inside, and then then took out a few ice cubes, banana, and soya milk. Before he searched something on the cupboard, they hung. Look at at him, confused. And when he want what he wanted to do with banana, peanut butter, soya milk, yogurt, honey, and the ice cubes. After about three minutes, just looking at the every moment, and got amazed in. His own world. He was startled when he felt something cold on his cheek. He gasped and saw a cold glass was so bright at his vision. He hung glad at the annoying jungle as he wiped the cold wetness from his cheek. I'm sorry, I I call you couple of times, but look like you mind was somewhere else. Jungkook said, giggled and put the drink, but he made. That he made on the table was this thing. Look at the drink, peanut butter and banana smoothie. Jungkook said, and thing muttered, "Oh, silently, thank, thank you. You are most welcome." Jungkook said before he went to his seat, continue his breakfast. This ate in the silent. It was slightly awkward and uncomfortable for thing, especially when he catch Jungkook's smile and keep his. Stealing 
I glance at him. Jungkook stopped at the hall when he was about to walk out of the dining room. Once finished the breakfast, do you have a plan for today? He asked and things like he said immediately. Then let's go out. I will drive everywhere you want to go. Jungkook said, but the hall shook his head again before he replied. Run asleep all day, he said. A big gesture with his arm, and Jungkook immediately laughed before saying, "Are you a koala? You are so cute." His laughter erupted across the dining room as he bent down, slapped his own thigh repeatedly. Was what was so funny, John? When Jungkook straightened his back, he. Just glanced while wiped his tears from that forming in his corner of eyes from laughing too much. Thang really didn't understand what was so funny until he laughed like there was no tomorrow. But surely his heart skipped a bit when Jungkook said that he is cute. When Jungkook calmed down, he looked straight at. To Thang's eyes and their eyes locked together. Thang was staring at him as he was stuck in those eyes, and he felt like Jungkook's face was getting near to his vision. When the fact was, Thang was the one who came closer to Jungkook. Jungkook was caught off guard when Thang leaned forward and kissed his lips. Yes, Thang kissed Jungkook. It was a simple peek. He slipped upon Jungkook, but both of them could feel something they couldn't explain. It feels so right when it should be wrong. Jungkook wanted to push the hang from him, but he didn't realize that his left arm already around the hang's neck and his right arm was at his waist, pulling the closer only to make their torso match. Jungkook didn't realize what he didn't, what he just did, but for sure, his mind and body didn't want to cooperate. It would be a lie if the hang. Said he didn't feel shock once Jungkook repeated to the case. Thang wanted to push him away when Jungkook started to bite his lower lip, but unconsciously his hand rested on Jungkook's chest instead, with no intention to push Jungkook away. Thang felt his knees weaken, so he gripped Jungkook's shirt tightly and Jungkook held the strongly. Jungkook was tasting Thang's bottom lip, and he almost gave in. But Jungkook, but Thang immediately pushed Jungkook away. Just a gentle push to breathe, break the case. Can't breathe, he said while catching the breath. When he looked at Jungkook, he found the driver just staring at Thang without showing any expression. Jungkook's right arm is still on Thang's waist, but His left hand already went to his chubby cheeks, rubbing his soft cheek lovingly. I don't know what just happened, Jungkook said, and then both of his hand kept at Thang's face. But you make me crazy, Jungkook said while. is staring into his eyes to be continue so everyone how was the episode thank cook finally kissed i hope they will confess their feelings and become close what do you feel about the episode comment it down so you can with the next episode till then take care say bye bye prahim